Welcome back to my YouTube. I'm doing a couples workout with Anthony, just a little bit. Also gonna review crumble cookies. By yourself. By I don't yourself. need sweets, sorry. But I've been waiting to get crumble cookies for a long time now until they have a good lineup for the week. This one seems to be pretty good. So I'll go try it out. First off, we're hitting a couple's leg day. I'm gonna post parts of it. Full video will be on Anthony's channel. Not sure when. Also not sure when this video is going out, but you get the gist. So what's this? This video's coming out Sunday. Um, oh, so yours will probably be up before the mine. The 12th. So I'm a, yeah, I'm a little scheduled here now. Wow, my schedule boy. He's working so hard. Look at you. The help is oh that. Oh my God. Yeah, yeah me too. Zach. <laughs> Can't even see me. It's so dark. Thumbs up. There we go. There it is. Zach's filming the workout. I'm gonna post parts of it, but I'm really just actually more excited to Let's eat get crumble to it. cookies by myself. All right, oh. all right, all right. <laughs> Christian Guzman, Amplify Leggings, and that right? Yes, ma'am. So tired. Kids sleep so good, bro. Eight to ten hours a night. That's why I've been growing. You need sleep. Sleep, sleep, sleep. How, how much weight is this? It's a six weight. Ready? Come on. Good. Keep that tempo. Two. Let's go. Three. Can you continue next year? Come on, you got this. Four. Improvement speed. Come on. Six. More than a set. Seven. Come on. Eight. Come on. Nine, <laughs> ten, don't be scared. Eleven, thirteen. Stage is yours next year, come on. Fourteen, good. Come on. Sixteen, babe, I'm a number one supporter. Let's go, come on. I know. Ready? Drop. Didn't need me yet, come on. No, don't touch it, come on. I'm right here, don't give up. Down, down, down. That was a half ass rep, come on, baby. Give me one good rep, you're done. Come on, all the way down. Go! Come on, two more, two more. I'm help, I'll help, I promise. Come on. I can, I actually can. There's so much on my legs. And I'm coming off of a knee injury. She did great, good job. Birds, big time. Big girls don't cry. They just scream and it really fucking hurts. Good, come on, one more. 
Oh yeah. That was great. Move on. Woo. Well, I, I gotta go. Don't forget about your girlfriend. Good work, bub. Two. Halfway. That's my girl. Eleven. Good job, babe. Twelve. How many more are we doing? That's it. You want to do another set? No, exercise. Oh. Gladiator and kickbacks, that's it. We've arrived at Crumble. Yeah. Woo! Are you gonna try any? Nope. A bite? Yep. A bite? Yeah. I don't know, dude. I just, I have no craving. To be honest, I didn't really want crumble today, but this is like the best lineup that I've seen that entices me the most to actually try it. So I guess I'll try it today, even though it's like, at this point, it just kind of feels up against my will. And I said it in the video, so... I got myself all done up because I felt so ugly today. Like, I'm not even gonna sugarcoat it. I felt ugly, like I really did. And I was like, you know what? I'm just I'm gonna get myself done up. I'll feel a little bit better about myself. Crumble time. It smells like straight sugar in here. They have ice cream too, I'll be back. Oh, I'll be back. I'll be back for the ice cream. Team Green, Team Green. Shout out Frank, Team Green. Oh, my Valentine. Oh, <laughs> my vagina? Yes. Wait, what? <laughs> no, why are you paying for it? Oh my god, he's a gentleman. He's a gentleman. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. Actually, I wasn't expecting that. Yeah, neither was I. I guess they do have to show you the cookies. Yeah, he's like just like saying nothing. He's opening it. I'm like, you're very nice. And I saw his, saw his name tag on his hat, so I go, Thank you, Daniel. And he like blushed, went, hmm. I'll be taste testing them in here. Is that okay with you? Warm? I won't make a mess. No. Can you wait? No, but they're warm. Promised. If I make a mess, I'll clean it. I'm gonna get hate comments now for that. For this. Please don't give me hate comments. You've eaten in here before. Don't act like you don't eat in here. I'm eating sugar and shit. My car, you my choice. You eat rice cakes, which is like popcorn shit everywhere, yet I'm eating a cookie that's gonna be controlled and I'm taking a bite of it. Okay, you tell me this fucking... This huge cookie. I'm taking you... a bite of it. You gotta lift it up, you're gonna bite, the crumbs are gonna fall. Crumble no. cookie, they're crumbling. Be really careful here. I'm gonna go in with the chocolate first. This one. I see. What a princess you are right now. You're sitting in my car after I, <laughs> I got these crumble cookies for you to then make me wait for you to eat them. I want, oh, I, okay, ready? Cheers. This is bringing back a memory. I don't know what it is, but I've tasted this frosting before. Some kind of childhood thing. Hmm. Very, very rich and chocolatey. I'd say especially the frosting's very rich. Like, I don't think I could eat a big thing of this. Rating? Hmm. 7.8. I think a 7.8 is a pretty solid, solid rating on that. The Kentucky Butter Cake. This one might catch me by surprise. Something that I just wouldn't have gravitated toward as a child, but okay. It's nice and gooey. Mmm. This one's good. Let me smell. Yeah, it smells good. Bro, come on, just try it. Just a little bite. Come on, try it, try it. Oh, that was actually disappointing to my expectations. All right, whatever. It's very buttery. Mm -hmm. It tastes like the smell of the midst of cookie that your mom, when your mom makes cookies, smells like the yes. midst of it. Yes. That's what the taste is. Mm-hmm. Rating though, I'll give it, mm, I'll give it like an 8.3. Okay, my point there is definitely, I like it more than the chocolate one. I was most excited about this one because I love Funfetti things. I'm like, oh. The party cookie. <laughs> I hope we can see it. And okay, I can actually just go like this. Super excited to try this one. I love Funfetti things because I'm a kid. Oh my God, I just got the pink sugar in it. It was almost too sugary for my liking. Definitely lives up to a Funfetti vibe but too sugary for me. Rating wise, I'd probably give it 7.6. Oh, I think I liked it more than the than the other one. Maybe like a 7.7. Seven. What I give the other one a 7.8? Mm -hmm. Okay, 7.9. Actually, I don't know. Whatever, it's also a 7.8. Final answer, 7.8. The classic milk chocolate chip cookie. Nice and warm. Honestly, looks like a really fucking good chocolate chip cookie. So good. Oh my God, we're running out of battery. 
Come away. That was a, a solid chocolate chip cookie. I'm definitely gonna give that like an 8-8. Eight, eight. That was a solid 8-8 eight, eight cookie. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, you could fuck that up. Real good, like homey chocolate chip cookie. Um, it's definitely pink, <laughs> as Anthony wants to call it, right? It is if it would focus, you could see it's most certainly pink. It's it's definitely pink. I don't know if I'll like it. This looked really enticing on like their Instagram. And I know this is like their classic thing, but like I don't know but if I'll um, really like it. Mmm, yeah, it's sugary. I could see how this is addicting though, even though I'm not a big fan of it because it's super sugary. The Kentucky one was so good. Oh now he's going back and saying it's good. I could I eat the whole thing. It tastes good, sure, but like Yeah, I'm sorry, you're talking with <laughs> Whatever's in your mouth is. I got, I got RX bar. I got RX bar here and here. <laughs> the camera died before I could fully give my review on pink sugar. So the rating I'm gonna give pink sugar. I'm gonna give it a six eight. Like it tastes like those store bought sugar cookies. I'll put a photo here that personally I didn't like. So I would only eat that if I really want something sweet and there was nothing else to eat. Hold on, I will say, I did try party animal cookie again when it was not warm. So good. It was so much better. Tasted like less potently like sweet and doughy and like, ugh, than it did when it was warm. So much, much better. I'd give it the not warm rating. What did I give it? Uh, like a seven, nine? You know, I'll go to eat one. I could see you know, like you really fucking up chocolate chip cookies from them. I was getting people reaching out to me being like, Allie, like they come out with new ones every week. And I'm like, bro, I, I, I don't live under a rock. I know this. Crumble cookies, first experience. I will say it was pretty good. It was better than I anticipated because I hear mixed reviews from people. You know what, actually, I'd say it's on par to what I've heard from people. Would I get it again? I don't know if I see something enticing. But not anytime soon. Not somebody who like really like looks forward to sweets. Living with Anthony, he is not a sweets guy because he just said he likes bodybuilding so much that he doesn't care for sweets. They don't have nutritional value for him. He's like super in touch with bodybuilding and that's what he wants to do. Like that's his thing. So he sees sweets as no nutritional value. Doesn't mean he will never have it. You saw me took a couple bites of cookies, but that's his thing in life, right? I know for me, yes, I love bodybuilding and I love this. I just know it's not gonna be there forever for me, especially being a female. I don't think I'm gonna be a bodybuilder forever. I'm gonna ride it out pretty much until I have kids, whenever that is one day. After that, maybe I'll compete again, but it obviously will like, it'll never be the same. I personally like to enjoy sweets here and there because that's like normal life things. Anthony's like, I wish I wasn't like this. I know that it's not always gonna be here forever for me and doing things like this for myself, like going to get sweets, even though like Anthony doesn't want it, that will help me one day transition into just a normal life because I can realize that I don't need to eat completely pristine all the time because that's so hard to achieve. I can have sweets here and there. So this is my message to anybody watching this, just because you're dieting or just because you are trying to eat healthy doesn't mean you can't eat sweets every once in a while, okay? Because people want that. Me, a few years ago, I probably would have gotten a, like a bunch of cookies and like probably ate far too many of them. Right now, I'm like, all right, yeah, a bite or two, like good, whatever. Because I sprinkle in my cravings here and there throughout my days and it fits my goals, it works, I, I'm fine, I'm doing great. So that's just my message to you is don't be afraid to stray away from your diet unless you're on prep, don't do that. Working out is supposed to be an additive to make your life better. It is not supposed to be something that takes away from other parts of your life. I was like a fat shit. <laughs> I wanted to say that to be like- I was being so goddamn motivational. <laughs> Sorry. Now you made me lose my train Aww. of thought. He says something about like supposed to help enjoy your life or make it life yeah. better. Yeah, being healthy and fitness is supposed to help you enjoy your life and make your life better and not supposed to take away from your life. So if it does take away from your life, you need to reevaluate things to make you happier and sprinkle them in here and there. That's my message to you. I'm gonna close it out here making Anthony and I dinner. We're having salmon and potatoes today. I'm probably gonna make some green beans too. Ugh, ugh, vegetables. Ugh. <laughs> Tell them to subscribe to me. Subscribe guys. Peace out.